How do you set up barcodes on Clover that are coming from your label printing scale? And let's say that the label that you're working with looks like this. This is a perfectly good label and I'm going to demonstrate on how to set it up. First thing we want to do is make sure that this app right here is being utilized. Variable price, barcode parser. And we also need to make sure that the configuration is complete and the app is ready for use. If it's not doing this, it'll tell you the instructions right here that need to be completed in order to get the configuration done. Once you have this thing ready to go, you want to go to the app called Inventory. Okay, and in the inventory, uh, we're going to work on setting up this item. Okay, beef with bones. And we're going to use this uh, number here, 200100, as the product code. So I'm going to search first to make sure that I don't already have an item like this. And I do. Uh, in my system, it's called goat boneless. So I'm going to change it. All right, I'm going to make this beef with bones. Beef with bones, like so. I'm going to make this item variable, okay? And then in the field that's called product code, I'm going to enter the six digits that I see on this barcode here, which are 200100, like so. And so when I search for this item, I just have one. I don't have a bunch of different items, just that one item. It matches the label beef with bones. Um, and then also in the uh, variable price barcode parser app right here, if I click on these three lines, and then if I click on the settings and click on barcode type, we wanna make sure that the barcode that we have selected is this one, the one that says 99.99, there's two uh, and see how you can switch between the two of them. You need this one, that one for this barcode. Okay, and so we have that saved. There we go. And now we can open the register app, use a barcode scanner and a barcode, and just scan it. And it's gonna work like this 511, 511. That's it. Uh, thank you.